Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Guys, today, as you can see, finally here, the Mark III red and chrome version. As you can see, it's a repaint. This is the original Mark III 2.0. So obviously they reused the body to repaint it. For those who don't know, this is another beautiful shortcut by Hot Toys. As you can see, this is the new style of repaint that they're using. Uh, many years ago, they were using something like, um, what was the name? Gunmetal. So Gunmetal is, or was, a paint application they were using for a couple of their figures. One was the Mark IV Secret Project, I believe it was called. Um, and then there was a Mark III that was also gunmetal. That figure I can't get. I haven't gotten it. Is, I'm still looking for it. The head scope on that thing is old and very, very crappy compared to what we get now. But I want that figure just to have it because I love gray. I love gunmetal. So those are just, I just, that was just an example of the type of different applications that they've used over the years. Obviously, you got the gold chrome. You got different stuff like that. Um, now, as you can see, we have the black chrome Mark 7 over here, which I didn't put the batteries in either one, um, just because I don't plan on on, on turning it on ever. Um, I do kind of regret the um, not putting the batteries in the black and gold because it looks gorgeous when it's lit up and when you turn the lights off. Um, this one has blue lights when you, when you turn them on. Uh, I believe in the calves is that bluish tint of light. Very, very nice. Um, again, I'm not going to use it. That's why I didn't put them in. Some of the uh, previous Iron Mans, I have put the batteries in just to try them out and see what they look like. But with this one, I didn't do it. So let's get right into it, guys. So um, it comes with your standard uh, hand. So you got two fisted hands, as you can see. Here, let me try to see. Let me see. So you get two. Let me try to focus over here. There we go. So you get two fisted, right? You get two of these. You get two of the fixed open hands, right? These are just for your repulsor or your flight. And then your articulated finger hands right there, which I have on also. Same thing as the Mark III, comes with the two rocket attachments. Uh, magnetic, there we go. Magnetic, so you get two of these. I left the other one in the box. Actually, no, the other one's on it, right there. I thought I left it in the box. So there's one right there. Uh, also the shield, this one's the one I left in the box. So I have it here. Um, what else, these are just the pieces that come off for like the rocket attachments and the gauntlet. This is the piece you gotta remove. Um, and let's get right into the figure guys because it's beautiful. It's a great great figure again If you don't have it if you don't have the mark 3 2.0 you are missing out because it's great So let's get started with my face. <laughs> let's get started with the uh, Face plate look at that as you can see I have fingerprints on it because my previous pair of gloves ripped and my fingers were all on the face um, So that's where you see some fingerprints on it. I'm, I'm wearing glo gloves the entire time just so I don't touch it, and it's still got all fingerprinted. As you can see, look at the chest. If you go like this and wipe it down, it kind of disappears, but it's too late now. So what makes this figure, guys, is literally the paint application. That's it. You actually get a lot less things with this one than you do with the original. As you can see, I have mine with the battle damage uh, chest plate. This one doesn't come with that. It comes with the uh, uh, regular accessories, the regular hands, all that stuff. Yes, but that's about it. Even with the with these uh, little missiles here, it comes with. These are also magnetic, come right off. Um, again, same exact thing as the 2.0, but just a repaint. So if you're not looking for repaints, this is not for you. Um, the figure has its you know standard die cast weight, really nice. Uh, the joints nice and tight, ratcheted. Uh, everything is just, you know, your standard 2.0 Iron Man that we've gotten so far. We've gotten a few already. And so, besides the paint, there's not much to the figure, right? Let me see if you could even remove the chest plate, which I think you should be able to. Yeah, you can. 
Um, I never really bothered doing this because what's the point? But I just want to I just want to show you guys um, the inside of the chest. So nothing new. We've seen stuff like this already, right? Looks nice, but nothing crazy. Again, what makes this figure is the paint application. Um, it's gorgeous. It, it, it reminds me of Christmas for some reason. I don't know what it is about this 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 shine. It reminds me of a uh, a Christmas ornament. Um, but again, nevertheless, it's gorgeous. Um, as you can see, uh, let me show you guys the back. You got to put on the these flaps on here. These already come on. These you don't have to worry about. But these you got to put on. These two, the the bigger ones. As you can see, they're nice and tight. They're usually um, kind of loose, believe it or not. At least you know for my figure sometimes. Maybe the older ones were. Um, these are nice and tight, nice and snug. So that's a good thing. Um, and the other thing I really like about the figure is the contrast of the red and that silver and that chrome. It's really, really nice. Again, very basic figure, guys. It's very basic. Not much to it whatsoever besides the accessories I went over. Um, and that's it. You get no head sculpt like the 2.0. You get no battle damage, anything like the 2.0. Um, so, like I said, this figure is all about the playing application. And they make you pay, you know, just about the same price of the 2.0 that comes with a lot more stuff for this one which comes uh, that comes with less which comes with less and um the only reason why is because it's a limited piece so it's kind of annoying it's kind of a rip off if you really think about it because you're getting less and paying pretty much the same um maybe a little bit less but because of the limited aspect of it that's why they get to always um overcharges for this stuff uh but overall beautiful 10 all day long as you can see how gorgeous that's gonna look next to that mark 7 black and gold i'm gonna have them next to each other on the shelf uh somehow maybe not we'll see where i end up putting it and let's get right to the base guys uh these bases i don't use at all they're really really nice though but i i'm not you know there's no room for any of it i have it lit up as you can see it's plugged in says Iron Man Mark III, red and chrome version. Look at the light up function all around. Here's the outlet, the USB-C outlet. Here's the on and off switch right there. And these are, again, the type of bases that we're going to be getting for the, um, the Flash movie figures. I believe those were the first ones who were that were started showing these type of bases. Um, again, very nice. They look very nice. They're fancier looking than anything we've ever gotten before. Obviously, besides the diorama base. Um, but what makes these bases are, obviously, as you can see, the light up function. And they're very light, too. They're not heavy at all. So, they're very nice bases, but again, useless to me. Just because I'm not gonna, you know, this takes a lot of space and takes up a lot of space. And so, I, you know, I need every, every inch I could get. No ditty. So... This is why I won't use it. But again, beautiful looking base, as you can see. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, yeah, guys, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So again, is it is it worth paying for the same thing twice just for a repaint? That's up to you. How much of a fan of Iron Man are you? How much do you like the character? How much do you... Would you enjoy having multiples of the same uh, marks just repainted? Um, you know, how much would you like that? How much would you enjoy that? That's up to you, right? That's up to the person. Every, every, every Everybody individually likes, you know, collecting their own way, likes collecting their own things. Some people just collect movie series, right? MMS. Some people like the exclusive. Some people... So it, it's just up to the person. But if you love Iron Man, you can't go wrong with these because it's just such an incredible paint application. Um, let me unplug the base so I can put it back on. Just because the wire is kind of taut on it. Um, articulation's great, like I mentioned. It's just such a classy piece, guys. It's such a classy piece. Um, and again, it's all repaint. That's it. They don't even, they don't even give you uh, different types of panels like they did for the Mark 7. Again, I understand because the Mark 7 is a more advanced the Mark. Therefore, it requires different stuff, different accessories, different armors, which they give you for the thighs specifically. That is one. 
the, the main uh, one of the main noticeable things on the Mark 7 is the multiple thigh plates, right? You remember he came out with the rockets coming out of there and they gave you two different uh, other colors. I believe one was black, one was a, a dark metallic, like a like a not a gunmetal, but it was a dark, it was a darker me, uh, darker metal color that looks beautiful on it. But because I like the missile look on it, I just said, you know what? Let me go with the old school look of it, of the original Mark Seven. But yeah, guys, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm glad I got it. I uh, I don't know how many more of these, uh, you know, whatever and Chrome figures they're gonna be making. Um. I don't know if they're going to go all out with the, for example, the Mark II 2.0 that just came out. We are going to get that figure that it's already shipping. We are eventually going to get that body reused for the unleashed Don Cheadle version, which is obviously James Rhodes when he steals the suit. Um, that's 100% coming. So don't sleep on that. Obviously, the paint applications has to be a little bit more dull. It can't be so shiny, uh, just because that's what it was in the in the in the movie. And remember that that they took advantage of the dullness of it because when when Tony first took it, it was very shiny. Then when Rhodey took it, it was a little more dull. And then obviously they used that as the base for War Machine. So believe it when I tell you, it's not going to be as shiny. It's going to be the same exact. Um, what do you call it? The same exact uh, mark, the same body, but it's obviously going to have different accessories, different looks. It's not going to have that opening flap like it does for the chest uh, uh, for the new 2.0, right? That was something that I don't remember seeing in the movie. Um, if it was there, it was must have been very quickly when uh, during the testing of the uh, of him putting on the the Mark II, uh, the very very first time when it, it's going through all the flaps moving here and there. So I'm assuming that's where it came from. Uh, again, I don't really remember uh, that that chest uh, the chest plate opening like that. Again, I remember all of the panels opening when he first puts on the Mark II. So I'm assuming that's where it's from. Uh, but besides that, guys, it's going to be um, you know pretty much the same exact Mark II. And so I don't know if they're going to reuse the Mark II being you know the new Mark for another you know whatever chrome version because i think that the original one that just came out the 2.0 is very chrome so what can they possibly add to that paint or to that mark to make it more interesting i can guarantee you it's not going to be another you know black and chrome uh, or black and gold right the chrome is already there it's already part of that mark so can they change it what would they change it into what can they change it into Right, so you get into that of what kind of paint application can they can they get into? I understand that the Mark III, as you can see, they could change it from red. Right, they both have red, but instead of gold, they give you chrome. Right, the Mark VII, same thing, was red and gold. They change the red and they left the gold. So, being that the Mark II the Mark II 2.0 is all chrome. What can they possibly do to it? So that's why I'm like, are they going to do anything to it? Can they? Absolutely. I just can't tell you what it is because it's kind of tricky with how they're picking the the shiny paint application for these uh, for these marks. So as always, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.